If you eat the food on your plate in the wrong order, you end up having extreme blood sugar spikes. On the other hand, if you eat the food on your plate in the right order, your blood sugar in the following minutes and hours is much lower and much more stable. In this video, I'm going to share what you should know about this and how this can have an insane impact on your everyday blood sugar levels. Basically, all you need to know is what food of what you're going to eat contains the most carbs and then you're going to eat exactly those carbs as the last thing on your plate. For example, you plan to visit an Italian restaurant for lunch and enjoy a plate of amazingly delicious ravioli. Ravioli contains a lot of carbs though. If you go right in eating ravioli first and only, you can expect a fast rise in blood sugar in about 10 minutes. Depending on your metabolic health, as a healthy person you can expect a blood sugar spike up to 140 before it drops back down. Or as a type 2 diabetic your blood sugar might spike up over 200 before it goes back to normal. The more spiky the peak of your blood sugar curve is, the more stressed your body is to get the blood sugar back down. If you want to understand why higher blood sugar levels are bad, I recommend one of my previous videos I linked below. So now imagine this. Instead of eating the ravioli just like a normal person, you open each individual pasta packet and eat the filling first and then the pasta layers. No, don't do this. People will hate you if you're doing that in a restaurant. No, seriously, you don't have to build your meals apart. Just eat something else before you eat the carbs. At the Italian restaurant, consider ordering antipasti as an appetizer. Antipasti are mixed things like olives, slices of Italian, delicious cheese, vegetables and so on. Pretty delicious, honestly. Eating such an appetizer first and then the carb-heavy ravioli, your blood sugar is ri rising much, much slower and it won't reach such extreme blood sugar spikes. Instead of a peak point of 140 after 30 minutes, your blood sugar might reach only a level of 125 after 50 minutes. Or instead of a peak point of 200 after 20 minutes, your blood sugar might reach only 160 or so after 40 minutes. Basically, the flatter this so-called postprandial bl blood sugar is, the better it is for your health. And it is really as simple as this. Eating anything high in fiber, protein, or fat before eating anything in high in carbs. To be able to follow that rule, you have to know what contains carbs. And here's a quick summary. Bread, pasta, potatoes, and rice are pretty heavy in carbs. Also, of course, any types of sweets. And be aware that refined sugar contains carbs just like honey or any syrups. Pastry is heavy in carbs because of the flour too. And also super important, very heavy in carbs is soda and fruit juices. Eat and drink such things always last. So what you should eat before that. Best is anything low in carbs and high in fiber. Vegetables are generally the best. It is up to you if you want to eat a mixed salad, raw paprika sticks with a cream cheese dip, steamed or grilled vegetables or prickles and high in fiber. All of that will slow down your blood sugar curve. Also, you can eat foods high in fats or protein. A couple of slices of your favorite cheese, for example. Antipasti, cottage cheese, flavored with fresh herbs, for example, or nut butter without added sugar though. Or one hard boiled egg, some raw nuts and so on. But keep in mind, vegetables should always be your first choice. Because otherwise you're simply eating too, many, too much fat when you, for example, eat nut butter or cheese always before eating anything else that gets too much too quickly. Here's a couple of rules that might help to integrate this to your new daily life. Always have vegetables ready to eat at home. Paprika, cucumber, carrots, cherry tomatoes are my personal favorites. Also, always have a nice variety of raw nuts in your kitchen. No soda, fruit juices or any other drinks sweetened with sugar, honey or syrup on an empty stomach. And finally, if you feel like having anything sweet like ice cream, eat it after your main meal. Don't eat it randomly in the middle of your day. You might wonder why the order 
of eating your foods lead to such a big difference in blood sugar levels after. It's super simple. What you eat first will get digested first and anything you will eat after will get digested later. It is super easy for your body to break down carbs into glucose molecules when they are low in fiber, fat or protein. Eating ravioli just like that, your body breaks down the nutrients quickly and your blood sugar rises fast. But if you eat anything low in carbs but high in fiber, fat or protein first and then the carbs, your body is busy for much longer which leads to a lower blood sugar curve. As a type 1 diabetic myself, I use this trick multiple times a day. It does not matter if you're also a diabetic or not, eating carbs last is for sure always a very good idea for your, met for your metabolic health. Oh, and also try paying attention in the next few weeks about how you feel after your meals. There's a good chance that you can concentrate better, that you, can, that you are less tired, that you have less cravings for chunk food and that you feel overall better. A stable blood sugar is worth so, so much. If this video was helpful for you, please hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you are type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic and you don't want to live with this disease for the rest of your life, check out this free ebook with only 12 pages packed with the most helpful information about how to lower your blood sugar immediately and naturally. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and all the best for you. See you next time.